OpenVAS. Welcome to the video Installing OpenVAS. In this video, we will install OpenVAS, which is a free vulnerability scanning and vulnerability management tool on our Kali system. Once installed, we will start and log into the OpenVAS management interface. And finally, we will prepare to conduct a vulnerability scan on our target network. So far, we've looked at many different ways we can scan our environments with Nmap to not only learn about the systems and services in our environment, but also what potential vulnerabilities may exist. It's important to note, though, that Nmap doesn't really advertise itself as a vulnerability scanner. So if you want to get a deeper look at missing patches, misconfigurations, and other security gaps in your network, it's a good idea to invest in a full-fledged vulnerability scanner. There are dozens of commercial tools available on the market, but fortunately for us, there are some free solutions that Kali is all but ready to have installed. OpenVAS, which stands for Open Vulnerability Assessment System, is one such solution that we can get up and running relatively quickly. Inside our Kali box, let's make sure we've got the latest and greatest Kali packages installed. In the past, we've used the following command to get and install the latest packages in one swoop. That command again is apt-get update and and apt-get upgrade space tack y. However, before we launch that command, I'm going to do just an apt-get update and show you an error you might run in if you haven't apt-get updated in a while. I actually ran into this last month, and a quick Google search led me to this tweet from the Offensive Security Group, which has a fix using the wget command. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into my terminal, and then I'll try my apt-get update again, and we'll see that this time we're clear of errors. So now we should be good to run the full apt-get update and and apt-get upgrade space tack y. But this time around, let's modify that command slightly to this. I am going to put a dist tack in front of the word upgrade. When you do a dist upgrade, Kali will attempt to update currently installed packages and if it deems necessary, remove installed packages in order to resolve package conflicts. I've not personally seen a dist upgrade operation break anything, but again, it's important to know packages can be removed, which could have negative consequences. I'm speeding up the video here for the sake of time, but in real life, this process could take several minutes or more, depending on your internet connection and hardware configuration. Now that the system is fully updated, we can issue another apt-get command to install OpenVAS. And then once that completes, we will kick off the OpenVAS setup procedure with OpenVAS TAC setup. And what this will do is download a bunch of packages and plugins we need for the program to run properly. The nice thing is that this should run without any intervention on our end. So if you hadn't already taken a coffee break during the dist upgrade process we did earlier, now would probably be a good time to stretch your legs. It looks like OpenVAS is now presumably set up and that the install script set up an admin password for me. So I'm going to save this password for later use using the echo command. And then I'll verify this file got created successfully with the cat command. Super. Now before we dive into the OpenVAS web interface, let's use a tool called Netstat to help us verify that everything is installed and running properly. 
Now, Netstat can do all sorts of network-related things as it relates to monitoring network connections, viewing routing tables, and getting statistics about network card use. But personally, I use it most often to see if services on my machine are running. So let's type in the following command of netstat space tac a n t p. The A says that we want to show all interfaces. The N stands for numeric, so that values are shown to us as numeric addresses. The T stands for TCP, so that TCP ports are shown. And the P indicates that we want to see the name of the program to which each socket belongs. So if you run this command, you should see an output similar to mine. The important things to look for are that ports 9390 and 9392 are running, which are key for OpenVAS functionality. If you don't see these ports as open or had some other errors during the OpenVAS setup phase, you can run the OpenVAS TAC check TAC setup command, which will run a series of checks and tell you where things might have gone wrong. So it looks like I'm good to go, and I am going to open a web browser and then head to https colon slash slash localhost colon 9392. And it looks like this is the OpenVAS interface that I expected to see. So I'm going to log in with a username of admin and then that password that we previously stored on our desktop. So I'll get those values typed and pasted in. And it looks like I am all set and now ready to dig into OpenVAS and start preparing for my very first network scan.